Emily is here and we are going to be looking at the kit obviously as we should be so Emily in the trial run has her you know best in slot weapon or her actual signature weapon and look at this bad boy increase attack by 15% and whenever you are dealing tender damage to burning opponents you increase the damage health by 18% for two stacks and when two are reached, you get to restore some energy and this can be applied off field. This is massive. And then we have the Unfish Reverie set. We've talked about this quite a few times, but this is something that we haven't seen before. The constellations, and we're going to be looking at them in just a moment. Then, yeah, um, normal attacks, let's ignore this. Yeah, let's look at the talent information at level eight. Already know this, the Lumidos case, you can level up to level two. And once you get the level two case, you trigger your passive, which deals 600% of Emily's attack which is pretty nice. And then here is the other passive where you can get a 36% damage bonus for every thousand attack. And I think you max this out for, I think 2,400 attack and you can max that out, which is pretty nice. And here is the damage multipliers for a level eight Illuminos case. Level one, as you can see, is pretty much negligible damage. The actual skill damage does more damage than that, which is unfortunate. But once you get the level two, you get a lot better. Here is the multipliers, which is much better. And you can see it's times two because there's two attacks that go on at the same time, which is nice. And the thing to recognize here is the luminous case duration is longer than the cooldown of the skill, which means it will last you the entire time. But if you want the level two case to be available at all times, you need to be using your burst. So, um, you want to use Amato's skill, you leave, you do all the other stuff with the other characters, and then you have to do your burst. And then that way you can have the uptime for the level 2 at all times. Because once you reset this, um, it'll go back to a level 1, which you do not want. And then here is the power resistance against burning opponents. So just, it's fine, it's fine. Let's look at the constellations. This is the big stuff, okay? At C1, you increase the damage dealt by Fragrance Extraction, which is going to be your elemental skill, all right? And it is increased by 20%. Of course, you're going to have the passive talent unlocked first. And when you deal or any nearby party members deal burning damage or Denver damage to, den uh, to burning opponents, you get a an additional scent. What the, are the cents, you may ask? It's what you gain after you're doing level 2 Lumido's case. Um, you get those cents dropped, and then once you get 2 cents, you trigger this, which is the 600% uh, in your damage multiplier, which is pretty massive. Um, yeah, so that's just a quicker way to get those firing off much faster. And then here is C2. C2 is really strong. So once you have your elemental skill out or the elemental burst out, any type of damage that you deal to opponents, I think will decrease your dander or their dander resistance by 30%, which is really good. But you have to have the talents or the passive talent activate. And that's the only way it, it, you know, it'll happen, which is pretty easy, right? Now. This is C3, you get a little bit more on your uh, elemental skill, which is nice. And then C4, you extend the duration of it by two seconds. That's okay. So, and you decrease the uh, the duration needed for you to fire off more of those dendro damage stuff, which is pretty cool. And then for C6, um, when using any of the Lumidos case, Emily will gain Abiding Fragrance. When Abiding Fragrance is active, Emily uses normal charge attack, she'll gain one cent. And her normal charge attack damage will be converted to dendro damage. She just becomes a full-on DPS. It's pretty interesting, actually. The kit, or the stats, I should say. Do this. So, I think this is how we do it. We do that. Um, do we that. And then we activate some burning. Um, I mean, okay. There we go. See, see some damage there when it crits. It's doing. So okay, that's that was the the nuke. 
the 600% right there. Okay, let's do some burning on these guys. Oh wait, I forgot to <laughs> put the new burst. Do that. And then, yeah, the burst actually does some pretty good damage. Okay. Let's not get it twisted here. Let's not get it twisted. Oh yeah, look. It's actually pretty decent. Actually pretty decent. Let's get the burning going on. Okay, now I want to try Venom Burst at the same time. So we do this, do this, let's see how it goes. Okay, okay so it still works. It still works even when she's off the oak. She's nice, she's really nice. Okay, and let me do this. Alright, um... Got to activate. I mean, I'm just looking at the damage here. It's actually looking pretty good. Obviously, this is with her best in slot or signature weapon, right? Um, okay, let's try this one more time. I want to try Emily Burst with Venom Burst. Let's try that. Try that. Just do this. Do that. And then Burst. How much damage does this deal? Hey, I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, and then the nuke, and then the nuke. And then the nuke. Wait. Got to, to, to do burning. Oh, it didn't crit. You're really gonna need Emily to crit. Oh my, oh my goodness. Wait. Can I see the, the little nuke? The little nuke? The little nuke? Oh, there it is. It didn't crit either. Which is unfortunate. I mean... That's pretty good. I feel like the team was so awkward. Something is a little missing in this team. I don't know. Might just be me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Emily. She's actually pretty nuts. I won't lie. She's actually pretty nuts. But I do feel like she's kind of missing something. Um, perhaps a best in slot teammate. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that's sick. Her charge attack is so sick. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one very soon. I'll be summoning Emily uh, in the upcoming video. So watch out for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one very soon.